John from Bell Falls, and I am joined again by Jenna. Thanks so much for being here today for a What's Layering Wednesday. It's the middle of winter. You guys are starting to get out, get active, whether you're skiing, snowboarding, cross-country skiing, people are walking their dogs. Oh, yeah. You don't need to stay inside in the winter, mm -hmm. but if you go outside and you don't dress right, what's the worst thing that can happen to you? And you're cold, you're warm, you're uncomfortable, you don't have fun. You're sweaty. You want to go back inside because you don't like being outside because you're uncomfortable. And... Yeah, so no bad weather, just bad gear. Yep. And we're going to talk about how to keep yourself comfortable depending on what activities you're doing. Tons of solutions for you guys to stay warm, comfortable, and looking pretty darn good. There's some oh, fun stuff yeah. up there too, right? Heck yeah, there is. So, um, what are a couple ways people, what do people ask for when they come in the store? If I had a bad experience, what, did, what, what do you run into up there? Well, if you had a bad experience, you're too cold, you're too warm, we come in and they just, I need a new coat, I need a new coat, I need a new this, I need a new that. Well, it's like, we, our first question that we ask is, well, what, you know, what are you wearing underneath? Okay. How can we make it more comfortable? So you try to have them use what they already own, figure out what they Yeah, have. oh yeah. Okay. What do you have? What do you what do you need? What can we add to it? Okay. And how can we make your experience better? So what's base layer? All right, so your base layer is your next to skin layer. So you don't want it to fit tight. You don't want it to fit loose. They call it next to skin. So we have two different options. We have a synthetic option and a wool option. So this first is synthetic. So this is a women's synthetic outfit and this is a men's synthetic outfit that you could wear as your base layer. Um, benefits of synthetic, if you get it completely wet, it dries very fast. Um, you can wear it in the sun. You can wear both of them in the summer for sun protection. You can get more than one use out of it. Um, but it's not going to it's still going to wick, it's going to keep you comfortable, it's going to keep you um, dry. But what, so that's your first option. Your second option is wool. So we have other wool options. I have a smart wool for women and smart wool for men. Wool is the best. The best you can get when it comes to base layers. <laughs> it's a great it statement, is. right? Okay. It is. So that's wool so much better. It wicks at the moisture level. So before your sweat has even become a little droplet in your armpit, <laughs> it gets wicked away by the wool. Okay. The merino wool that the merino sheep that they come from, they go, I can, we can tell you all about it. They go up into the mountains in the summer, they go down into the valleys in the winter, they're well taken care well of. Well taken right? care of sheep. They're really funny to look at pictures of. <laughs> um, but they, they, it's the best, the finest material. Synthetic is cheaper, it's more cost effective. Um, I say wool is the best, but they're both great. I mean, we, I wear both, I wear synthetic, I wear wool. Depends on the day, depends on the situation, depends on what outfit I wanna wear. There you go. Um, but wool naturally, it keeps you temperature regulated. So when it's extra cold, it keeps you warmer. When it's warm, it keeps you cold. Both, that's why it, like I wear, I have summer weight hiking shirts that are merino wool, um, just because they're so good at moisture wicking and they don't smell, they're odor repellent. Yeah, yeah I've used the synthetic for years. I love my synthetic, but I have certainly moved over to wool as the options have become more available. There's more wool out there and, and it's more, more affordable. This is what I'm wearing a wool base layer piece yeah. here and I use it for skiing, but I also use it to go out to dinner. And yeah. It's just a nice, all yeah. comfortable piece. Now we go to your mid layer option. Um, we have a few different ones. We have fleece options, which are like that one and like this one. Okay. So these are fleece layers. So they're fuzzy, they're comfy. Um, they are your medium warmth, the mid layer, I will say. A little bit more active. You just, you need something more than your base layer, but you don't quite need an insulated layer. Fleece is your way to go. And a lot of this is made out of recycled materials. Yeah, so you recycled can polyester. Eco, yep. stuff going on in the most companies. That yeah, this have now. switched to recycled. Now some of this stuff is uh, potentially windproof too. Like mm -hmm. this is a little Yeah, bit so this is going to be wind, wind resistant and water resistant on the outside. And then, you know, when it's spring and it's misting and you don't need a full raincoat, you can wear that too. Yeah, so somebody who's yeah. Doing Winter running or yeah, exactly. cross skiing might yep. just wear this with a, yep. a base layer on yep. it. So, perfect. What are my other options? Your other so options two. are these puffy layers. So we have, I'll show you with the vests so you can see the different patterns. This is a down insulated vest and this is a uh, recycled polyester insulated vest. Okay. This is a synthetic, this is down. Um, down is lighter, but synthetic keeps you warm when it's 
keeps you warm when it's wet. Okay. So if this gets wet, it's not gonna keep you warm, but when your ear, you know, if it's under your ski jacket, it's not gonna get wet. Um, Could I wet that out with my body sweat? Like I tend to be pretty, no, not gonna no. Okay. I mean, it might get a little damp, but it's not gonna get so, so wet to the point it's where it's okay. not working, okay. yeah. Um, but these are like, this, so this is what you need when you need something warmer than your fleece, but you just need that extra little hug of warmth that you go to an insulated layer. So we've got vests, we yeah, have yeah, jackets. We jackets and these make great everyday wear, right? Yeah. I mean, I wear oh, yeah. to work every day. I see people Grocery at the street shopping. and we sell a lot of these for yeah. just a nice everyday jacket. Yeah. Downside is they're not waterproof mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not super windproof. So this isn't really your final layer, right? Right, right. Now what about my bottoms? Do I need anything down there for mid layer? For mid layer and the bottoms, yes. You have the option of pants, three quarter pants. Um, we sell some that are full length, but when you are skiing, snowboarding, cross country skiing, you don't want so much in your boot. So we make a lot of these three quarter length pants that go and stop just above your boot. So there's not that extra material in your boot. So that's a, another to put under your snow pants. So now I'm dry, I'm warm, but I'm still exposed to snow, to rain, to other That is your stuff. outer layer, your okay. wind and water. Right. So your outer layer, we have insulated outer layers like this. We have shell outer layers like this, um, insulated if you're needing, um, like you're always cold, you're always cold, you might want that insulated layer. If you just want wind and water protection, spring skiing, that kind of thing, having a shell is fantastic. I'm pretty active. I do a lot of alpine touring, so I'm climbing and then coming down. Yeah. So this would be a little bit heavy for yeah. me. So the more active you are, I mean, in cross country skiing, you might not need insulation. Yeah. But for alpine skiing, if it's cold and yeah. blowy, and you're tend to be a cold person, so. Yeah. Uh, with all the right layers too, John, this can be just as warm with that. Well, thank you for that education. Yeah. You guys come on in. All of our staff upstairs is well versed in the. Uh, the wonderful world of layering uh, and the stores, some of this stuff's already on sale in the middle of the winter. We haven't seen a ton of snow in West Michigan, but it's coming. We know it's coming. And uh, so stop in, see what you got. Selection's good. And we will see all of you for another What's Blank Wednesday.